being anti-censorship, protecting free speech. We got stuff in my hair. Excuse me. Believing in history and cultural preservation because those things are important. YouTube, I've got a question for you. Do you want to end up like Shostakovich in Russia? Ask yourself that question. Those of you who run YouTube, do you want to end up like Shostakovich they, in Russia? They've been throwing people off the buildings in Russia. Shostakovich was being censored by the Soviets in Russia. Do you see my horse? I drew this tattoo, but I didn't tattoo it because I'm left-handed. I got um, one of the Houstons to do it. I oh, man, I can't remember that guy's name. Coolest fucking dude. I met some really cool dudes in jail. Yeah, I've been to jail. Fighting with uh, Mrs. Christina Watson. Oh, she loved to put a motherfucker in jail. Be cheating on him. Be cheating on him. I'd try to get him thrown in jail. So today, the energy is pretty fucked up. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Keep bringing my cue. Yes. Yeah, Christopher. Christopher! This is my cube. It's all done. When I took the Dremel tool and Dremeled out around the sections, it immediately began to affect my, my dreams. What I had realized was I had my whole dream world in the form of a cube. This is the I made myself. You go to your local locksmith, you ask the locksmith for some shavings from their key making machine, and they'll give them to you. You mix those shavings with Bondo and load that son of a bitch up with a coiled piezoelectric crystal. But you gotta do it with gloves on. You can't touch the crystal while you're cold in it. You shorten it out. You don't want that. It won't work. You don't want that. What you got to do is what I said. Get you some rubber gloves on. If you got your rubber gloves on, you can make sure that your orgone doesn't get all over every fucking thing. Because it will. Now, I like to use Bondo. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the stuff to make it clear is hella fucking expensive. So what I did was I made all my orgon pyramids, which are a smaller size than this. And I have my immediate, even smaller size, one inch square ones that I use to interact with the grid. I take this as my master pyramid because it's got that dang old, what you call, black shungite. Black tourmaline, I'm sorry. I don't know what it's called, I don't remember. This stuff. Then I use it to interact with all my organ stuff. What does that do? It makes my dreams lucid, where I have uh, interactions with the people that are in my dreams. Weird relationship is going on. I was at my first girlfriend's house, which her house had railroad tracks on the house. Not on the house, but on their property. Like you had to cross the railroad tracks and their house was right there. And it went into a chemical plant. And in a dream, we had built her some, we had installed her a bathtub. So what was before her kitchen was now her bathroom. She was on the other side of the wall. She was eating something and she was watching the TV by the door. 
She was watching it. She was just sitting there just watching the TV. And then I got into the bath, and then I got out, and I came and I sat next to her. And we're friends. Like, there's a lot of textual sexual tension for me. But in the dream, she lives there, and we're friends. And it's strange. Because I think she may have moved there. She may live there. I don't know. In the dream, she does. She supposedly got married, but she was already cheating on her husband. She was already cheating on her husband. I don't know what's what's in the chicks like that. She just, she worked at a flower sh store. She was into florist stuff. She was into dancing. She was in the drill team. She was high up in that shit. With number one, she was the number two girl. Or two. And like three. I don't, I don't know. I didn't go to their school. She's been in a lot of my dreams. We've been talking about something. Something's going on. <coughs> I think I'm trying to wake her up. I'm trying to turn her on to conspiracy theory in my dream. Isn't that weird? But in this dream, there was a shower and it had some weird paneling. It's like a bath, like a, one of those uh, footed bathtubs. Very nice one. But beyond the tub, there was some panels that went up that were polka dot. They were like red background with white dots. And they were in the way. Like you had to slide them over and sort of get in there. And I was getting in there. And I was running the water. It was just very weird. Because, like, the wall was right there. And she was on the other side of the wall. Just sitting there. Eating stuff. And watching TV. She's not fat or nothing. But she was snacking on something. Watching TV. I remember she liked asparagus. And she thought it was funny that asparagus made your pee smell funny. And it does. When you pee, your pee will smell funny if you eat asparagus. And she was funny. Funny, beautiful little girl. This is uh, Jennifer. Her name is Jennifer. These are things you remember in your life. She was born on January the 1st. I know all these people born on the same days. And it seems significant. Like the person that's born on a certain day will, depending on the year, depending on what the year is and what the current theme, modified by the theme of the time. Clearly. Clearly. So what do you think? How do you feel about America? How do you feel about race cars? How do you feel about men going to the moon again? How do you feel about a walk on the beach with your sand between the toes? Just a little sand. Maybe making love on the beach and getting a little sand in the crack of that ass. Have you ever done that? Have you? Have you stepped on a uh, unseen Portuguese man of war and had it sting the shit out of your ass? And then had somebody have to pee on your pee on your foot because of the pain? Or did you make it to get some meat tenderized or tenderize it up? I don't know why meat tenderizer works. I know you got some cures, Tammy. I know, I know you know what to put on jellyfish or man of sting. I just want to hear it. I want to know what it is. I think I know something. And I know I don't know shit. But I love to find out what other people know. That's not me saying, hey, that's not me saying, you don't know shit. I'm not trying to be slick and say that. It's me saying, I don't know shit. But I'm willing to find out and believe. Like with these bugs. I should have bombed this motherfucker. If I didn't know, 
I'd have bombed this motherfucker before we left.